Well, students, we're going to organize these compositions today. Um, you probably will have a couple remaining pieces left over. You can see this is a, a new background paper. Um, I'll give you a square paper. I've already organized this just a little bit. So you can see here a couple of things. Um, one, I've just kind of taken these pieces and I'm figuring out how I want to lay them down, how I want to organize them. So um, I can figure out some different ways that these could go. I'm coming up with some different plans that could look good. Right now they don't have to be all totally straight because I'm gonna change them and arrange them. So like these longer rectangles are, are two squares wide. So um, just gonna try to figure out this. These ones have a lot of white. So um, probably around those I might have, but I don't want circle circle in a row. So maybe I'll do something like that here. Well, why don't we go with one of these longer ones. I think I do like this one up here. Maybe this one down here, okay? So once you organize them, I think one of the um, best ideas for making sure they get where you want them to go would be to take these and to flip them over and number them. So then I can say, all right, this is gonna be number one, and then this is gonna be number two, then I'm gonna get number three. And you can see here, because of that, I'm gonna do my next row and I'm gonna stack these ones differently. So I've got like one, this is like that top row, but then this one, I'm gonna say, all right, so this is gonna be my next row. So this one might be, um, I think I'm just gonna number these across also. So then this is just gonna be number one. Now this one goes this way. So I'm gonna keep it that way and I'm gonna go number two and then this one, and you can see I'm just flipping them over instead of turning them number three. And this one would be number four. So I had four papers across on that one. And I wanna keep these organized so I don't forget where they go. We'll do my next row here. And this one, because of the way that it is, there's only two papers. So this is just gonna be number one. And then this one goes this way, so this is gonna be number two. And then my bottom row, I'm gonna have that one down here. We're gonna say that's number one on that row. And then this is gonna be number two. And then number three. So you don't wanna mix up your papers once you have them how you want them to be. Um, I'm just gonna scooch these up. That's gonna be kind of off camera, but I don't want them to get out of place. So now that I have them set up, now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start gluing them down. So we're gonna use this paper, this background paper that you had all this paint on, um, and that's gonna be kind of a gluing paper. So I'm gonna take my first one and I'm gonna glue it really, really, really well. We don't want these pieces falling off, so glue the middle and then I want you to go around the edges at least twice, maybe even three times. So this is where your extra glue will end up, is on this scrap paper, this background paper. I'm gonna take this now, and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna line it up. It's important to get that first one lined up well. And then you don't wanna smear your paint. So here, I'm gonna flip this paper over and then I'm going to rub my hand on the back of the paper so I don't end up getting my hands really sticky or so I don't smear the black paint. Because sometimes when you put glue on it, it can make the paint a little bit wet again and make it smear. So then I'm gonna take this one and this, this is my row. So I take these and I say, all right, that's gonna be paper number two. So I'm gonna not put it right there because that's where it was very sticky. So I'm gonna glue the middle. We'll glue my edges at least twice, so glue in the middle. This is time two. Then I'm gonna flip this over, line it up with that edge of that paper, 
make it also line up with the edge of my my paper here. Once it's straight, flip it over and repeat, rubbing your hand on the back. Then we'll flip it back over, take this one, glue the middle. That's one time, we'll glue the middle again. That's gonna be two times. And we'll flip this one over and you can see that they should line up. If there's a little bit of extra paper, so this one might have just like a little bit of extra paper on the side, that's okay. Flip it over, rub your hand on the back. Now that I have one row done, we'll move down to my next row. So I'm gonna move this one, this is row three, and this is row four. So this one is my next one. So I'm gonna take number one off. I'm not gonna put it over there because it's sticky. And I'm really happy that I have these all numbered because then I know exactly where I want them to go. And I just line these up, making sure that it's straight with the side of the paper. And with my next piece that's above it, flip it over, rub your hand on the back. And this one is the one that has, it's a little bit gluey right there, so we'll move that over, scooch this one over a little bit. I did wanna talk a little bit about ones that are these long rectangles because you can decide to change them if you want to cut them. Um, I don't wanna do that with this one, so I'm leaving it all as one piece. But I'll do that with the next one here as an example. The next long rectangle in the next row. I'm doing this a bit faster than I would like you to do it. Because um, I've had some students where they're not gluing well and then they have to go back and glue things again. Um, so please just glue things as carefully as you can. If this paper starts to get really sticky, um, by the end of this row, you can see that I might end up having to fold this paper. So here we'll get this one on here. And I'm also noticing that I have one here that's not sticking real good. So if that happens, take that, put a little more glue underneath this. And I can see there's like a little bit of a fingerprint right there, so my hands are getting a little bit dirty. Just be careful how you touch your paper. So I'll spend some more time pressing that corner where it looked like that one was coming off. So now this is my next row. Um, so this one, I'm gonna end up putting it in a spot that's not sticky. edges really well I like that this is white right here so I just want to be careful not to touch it and make a fingerprint right there So for this one, let me just do an example here. If you want to leave it all one piece, that's fine. If you wanted to make it smaller, what you would have to do is take one more of these squares and put it on top so you can figure out how long it is. And you'd have to make it exactly lined up and that would make it two squares. So then you could take this and cut it. If I cut it, 
then I can decide, do I wanna leave it like this, or did I wanna take it and turn it? And then I can get a new composition there. So that can be up to you if you wanna turn one of your pieces, if you wanna leave it like that, or if you wanna take it and turn it, turn it again. So I think it does look kind of cool if I turn it like that. So then what I would do is I would just take this off and this is getting a little bit sticky. Pull those edges. Line that up. Flip it, rub my hand on the back. And it was like this, but I think I'm gonna turn it and make it go like that. You can see that if I if I don't if I'm not accurate about making sure they're the same length, it does look like it's kind of going over a little bit. So you do want to be careful that it's not a bunch smaller. Otherwise, you don't really have a choice but to glue it back to how it was. Um, but it looks like I can fit it like this. I'm gonna flip it over, rub my hand on the back. Get these all to be pressed down. Now we'll just pretend that I'm done. So these would be my last pieces on my composition. Everything is organized. Really look like that. So I want to give you guys enough work time, but you can see how that looks really cool because there's a lot of different ways that this could be organized. So please make sure you glue well when we're done. Turn your cap down, twist the cap on so that um, your glue doesn't get smushed. This paper now has a lot of glue on it, so you could just fold it if you needed a clean spot, if you're gluing, and then you could use that other side. And this can just get recycled, and you'll have your name on the back of this when you're done, so then we can um, know that it's yours. So let's have fun working on these abstract compositions.